What's up guys, Robbie Race here. Quick video for you. I'm gonna be, you know, trying to persuade you all if you haven't unlocked this yet, you haven't bought this yet, buy it, you know, get in the Apex missions, start freaking farming that shit. Unlock this fast, guys, because this is too fun to miss out on. If you're not a melee guy, I get it, you know, maybe it's not for you, but if you're a guy that wants to always have 10% more shields, you know, I think everyone would probably want that. Or even the ammo one. Whatever. The point is that this gear is too valuable to not kind of be playing those missions and trying to unlock. Because, um, you know, you probably have nothing to put in the slot at this point. You probably don't have anything that's going in here. So it's just, it's, it's a wasted slot. Get something in there as fast as possible, whether it's the ammo or the jug shield. In my opinion, the jug shield's way better, at least for now, for the vanguards and stuff and i'll tell you why it's better because actually both of them are good because if you haven't figured it out yet the guns in this game are pea shooters so yes you're gonna need a whole lot of ammo if you want to kill anything but at some point i'm literally sitting there with the krogan vanguard going this shitty weapons technology that we brought to the andromeda galaxy is so crappy that me headbutting something is literally more effective like that's that's where i'm at in this game so with the human vanguard and the Krogan, you know, anybody that you like to melee with, it, it's very effective tactic. And I'm a huge melee junkie, even for my Mass Effect 3 multiplayer days. I love it. Um, it's a very fun play style. But in Mass Effect 3, the Juggernaut shield gave you like 20%. It was, that was the range of melee and shields it was giving you. It was in that ballpark. This is like unheard of, guys. If, if this came out in Mass Effect 3, people would have lost their shit. Because 75% more melee damage... Let me show you the Krogan's pass so you can see just how big that is. From the choices you can make with him, you can get 25% here. Let's count it. 20, let's even count that 25 when he's in Rick. So that's 50% right here. And then you can get another 20% here. You know, you can kind of count these if you like. And then over here, you can get another 25. So just look at those numbers. You know, from inspecting into his entire passives, these are the choices you're getting, you know. And then you come over here and you see this gear that's going to give you freaking 75% just for showing up to work and putting it on. That's really good, guys. And any character can benefit from an extra 10% shield. Let me show you something else. 10% shield, right? That's what that gear is giving you. Take a look at his passive right here. 15% max health and shields. Okay, so I mean this number is almost equal to this rank that you have to choose and put points into. So it's good, guys. I don't think I need to convince you too much. It's a good goddamn thing to get. Strike teams, get on them. You know, let's see if I won this thing. There you go. Keep doing this, guys. Just keep doing it. It's it's the way to go. Just keep sending these guys out. 6% chance. Okay, I'll send them out on this one. Keep sending your little teams out on this shit. And um, keep farming these missions. They're not that bad. They're pretty, you know, some of them have some kind of ridiculous odds stacked against you. But in the ones I was playing, I was getting extra XP and extra credits. So it's definitely worth it for me. And it's definitely worth it for me thinking that I got this out of it. This has made my Krogan Vanguard so much more fun to play. I was actually contemplating before that gear came out. Is the melee build going to be viable on gold? Because I was on silver, like taking so long to kill enemies with this melee. And then now that I got this, it's got a fighting chance. I'll tell you that much. So yeah, stop what you're doing. Get in here and unlock it. The other thing that I wanted to tell you, if you're a Bailey guy, you know, the other thing I want to tell you about strike team missions. Some of you may be having the issue where you're completing the strike team mission and you're not getting any kind of, um, what do you call it, reward when you're done and you're sitting there super pissed off. The reason is, it's not, a, there's a stupid, I'll just show you. Okay, look, say I want to do this mission. Watch this. I want to play it. Let me join the match. Pay close attention. What is the name of this match? Mission, obtain tech prototype. Okay, join match. Oh yeah, look at that. There's the 15% XP I would get for doing this extra. Okay, so see how next to mission it says obtain tech prototype? That means that is that mission. Now, I guarantee you if I was to do that a couple times... Just watch this. If I do this a couple times, it's going to put me in a lobby that's just against that enemy on this map. 
and now of course it won't work now that we're recording but earlier I was getting this like crazy where <sighs> okay let's try another one looks like everybody loves this mission you know it's probably because it's the the bronze one I'll try this one this one I'm pretty certain what it keeps doing is it puts you in okay for fuck's sake really I wish this was happening earlier was work was working this well earlier but one earlier man it would keep putting me into a lobby where it's just that enemy on that map against on that difficulty but not necessarily that mission it would just say cut there you go here's the example guys see how it says on mission custom map firebase zero enemy outlaw difficulty gold this is just some people in a lobby with the mission characteristics that match that mission do you see what I'm saying? This isn't the Apex mission. This is just on the same map against the same enemy on the same difficulty. For some reason, when you try and join a game that's, you know, an Apex mission, the game thinks that you might also want to just play that map against that enemy on that difficulty. It's their dicks. Like, you don't realize that if you just quickly press ready, you're just going to be playing that mission and you'll come back to this screen and you'll be like, fuck, where's my reward? Where's my mission funds? Well, you didn't play the mission. So, again, look right there. See next to mission how it says custom? That's the bullshit right there. It didn't put me in that Apex mission. It just put me in a custom mission that's set to be on the same map against the same enemy on the same difficulty. So, now, you saw that now. So, let's do it one more time and see if it, if it works this time. You, gotta, you basically need to just keep on hopping in here. There you go. See, next to mission retake an occupied facility that's what we want to see if we want to play that apex mission okay guys that's how it works and you'll see the match modifier at the bottom too now if i were to play that i would get the whole fucking you know mission funds and everything would be hunky dory so that's my advice guys on why some of you i've been getting that question a lot why am i doing the strike team mission and not getting the funds well you didn't actually do it the game thinks that you just want to play against that enemy on that map, on that difficulty, unless you are paying attention to that. So yeah, a lot of people ask me that. Glad I finally put that to rest, made that uh, video explaining that, in addition to just, in general, persuading you to get off your ass and unlock the Juggernaut Shield. I want to see these Strike Team lobbies jam fucking packed, because there's no reason to play any other mission until you've gotten that gear if you're a melee guy if you're not then you know if you don't see the use for it you know that's on you but to me 75 percent more melee damage and 10 percent shield in an open slot that's too goddamn good to pass up on you know that's gonna go on all my characters until maybe that ammo one will have some value because like i said these guys decided to come to andromeda with all the shittiest weapons they could gather so your fist is literally becoming more viable than the goddamn super high-tech gun you have in your holster. So, yeah, guys, grab that, headbutt some shit, have a great time. Or the human vanguard just to, you know, keep mailing, get your shield back every time you do it. I'm going to put it on him, and I want to try it out now, because you'll see my gold gameplay with the human vanguard. He didn't have the gear then, and if you watch me trying to melee people, it's just painful. You know, I'm not trying to do a melee build on Sky or anything. It's just a nice get out of jail free card to get your shield back with just a light melee. Um, but you know, I'm primarily noving and charging. I do use the melee because I love to, and it does good do good work for you. May as well have it do some more damage while you're getting your shield back, and not just do more damage, 75 fucking percent more damage, and I get 10 percent more shields. So I'm totally sold by that gear. I'm glad I grinded and got it done. It's really going to help you guys out. So yeah, get it done, guys. I hope that helped you understand why maybe you're not getting the goddamn mission funds after all your hard work because the game's kind of trying to dick you. So just pay attention. You should be fine. All right, guys. Hope that video helped you out. Be sure to rate, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Let me know below, Do you have you guys unlocked your Juggernaut Shield, and do you think it was worth the grind, and why the hell wouldn't you think it's worth the grind? I mean, honestly, it's too fucking good. Has it helped the gameplay of your Vanguards, you know, all your melee classes? Has it helped them out a lot? I bet it has. Alright guys, have a great day.